Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I was listening to one video, and then over here on the right was one that was titled Sealing of the Elect, My Barley Harvest, Word Given, April 19, 2019. And she's got in parentheses, Behold, I Come. Now that's Julie Wedby. And I listened to it. It's it's a little long, not real long. But um, I said, I've got to share this. Now, the link she's got in her comment at the top will not take you there. Somehow it got copied wrong. Or over the last two years, they made some kind of rule that they can only be so long. And they're telling me that the, the link is too long. Or something like that. So today is Tuesday, March the 9th, and it's 9 11 a.m. Yeah, 9 11. Time to, to, uh, we're running out of time. That's all I got to say. So, hello, anyway, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa. Uh, yeah, this is Lisa. Um, is she Lisa? And I just wanted to come on and share. Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I just wanted to come yes, on. She and doesn't give her last name, uh, but uh, her channel is "The Lord is My Shepherd," and she frequently um, shares messages like Lisa, um, Julie Wedby's, and some others. I've noticed. And what I'll usually do is click the link, go straight to 444 Prophecy News or their website and read it from there. But this is pretty long. And I, I what got my eye was the, it, the Lord called it my barley harvest two years ago. This is two years ago almost. 2020. Yeah. Come April, it'll be two years. And it's talking about the Passover lamb. Follow the lamb wherever he goes. And that's the 144,000. And he talks about us as his bride. And that he was sealing his elect back then. And But see, I think that's why a lot of us thought after this or not long after this, it's too late to get into the first rapture. But. Um, I do believe even a new believer, if they give their heart over completely, you start off right, you're giving up your sins, you're repenting every day, um, you do not have to be water baptized, it would be best if you ask the Holy Spirit though, to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, so to speak. You don't literally get lit on fire. It just means you're going to know it. <laughs> and you should pray in tongues, if not that day, shortly after. That is the manifestation of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Many people argue with me on that. That's okay. You can hold your opinion. I hold mine. The reason is, Whenever you get delivered of a demon spirit, there is some form of manifestation. Either you will, uh, this may sound funny, but you may burp, a big burp. <laughs> or you may cough your head off, so to speak. You might throw up or you may scream. I've done the coughing and the screaming when I got um, delivered of demons. So um, that doesn't mean I was ever possessed. I was oppressed. They can live in your outer court. But as long as there's at least some Holy Spirit in your, your Holy of Holies, which we now know is the pineal gland. It's not your belly. That little pineal gland, and this is not New Age speak. This is, that is where God communicates to you through it. And if you let it get completely calcified, you won't hear from him. And I'm wondering if perhaps pharmaceutical medications could possibly block that. But I'd, 
I have looked at my meds and I'm like, okay, which of these can I get rid of? Well, I've started cutting back on two of them. Um, tonight will be only half of one, the one I take for muscle spasms in my back. And the other one is what replaced my Dilantin. And I'm going to see how I do on just two of them twice a day instead of three of them three times a day. Or maybe I should do it two of them three times a day and then go to two times a day. See, you have to be careful coming off some medicines. But, you know, does that eat? I'm trying to decide if the supplements are in there with Pharmacia because they're mixed up in a lab, put into a capsule, but they're na natural and they're good for you. So I, I'm praying about it, but I really don't think the supplements fall into the same category because I don't eat enough. I cannot eat enough food to get all that vitamin A, vitamin D, the vitamin C. There's If I ate enough food to get all of that in it, I, I, I would just gain so much weight. That would be unhealthy for me. So I really don't think that's wrong. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I didn't even mean to get off on all that. But I will leave the, the link. Uh, well, I'll leave the link to Lisa's video here and uh, in the description box. And with that, I'll just say bye for now. I hope this will encourage you, even though he said now, two years ago. Um, I keep in mind when I hear script, uh, messages like this, how Susan Davis was hearing similar messages way before that. And now she must not hear any at all. She does prophecy conferences. I know you could find her on YouTube at one time. She's the lady that fasted for 40 days after she had done a, a whole lot of fasting, like every day she'd give up breakfast or uh, breakfast and lunch and eat only supper. She's very thin. But anyway, when you fast for the Lord, you're reaching out to him. And I know in my heart she got her words from the Lord. And they were put into books. And you can go to Amazon.com and look up Susan Davis. If you have a, I don't know if you can download them. I think they're only for Android products, like tablets. And I don't know about the phones, but probably. Only 99 cents. I've got five of her books, and all they are is messages. She got a man that heard of her or knew, knew her. I'm not sure now. It's been several years since I read them. Um, when I first got on YouTube, I found her and, and started listening to uh, downloaded those books, bought them for uh, 99 cents. There was a website you could go to to get them for free, but it would just download them as PDFs. And I wanted it on my tablet so I could read it off of a tablet. So anyway, that's that 99 cents goes to Amazon, not her. And the uh, what do you call the guy, the editor? He doesn't make anything either. That's how you know it's from the Lord when the words match up with Scripture and they sit right in your heart. Your discernment says, yes, this is of the Lord and there's no money made, although she certainly could have charged a little bit 
she went to her family's cabin and, and went 40 days without food. Now, she did drink vitamin water. He had her to drink vitamin water the first two or three weeks, and then he let her add juice to get her stomach, you know, because you don't just go off of a fast like that and go straight home to eat food. So anyway, that's a hardship. You try going a week on just juice. See how you do. See, I don't, I don't know that I could do it. But anyway, so the point is, I firmly believe if you want more prophecy about Jesus is coming, her first book that I got was called Marriage Supper of the Lamb. But then I found some that were older that the guy had gone back, took her older messages, put them in books, and then there's a sequel and another sequel to Marriage Supper of the Lamb. So those are excellent reading for 99 cents a piece. If you have an Android tablet, that's, um, it's so easy to read off a tablet, but anyway. I'm going to say God bless each and every one of you. I pray you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you live when you, when you see this. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.